Greetings, YouTube. So we've had another mass shooting. In fact, we had three in a 24-hour period. Um, I'm talking about the one that was in Buffalo, uh, where a, uh, an 18-year-old white nationalist drove more than two hours, specifically targeting a uh, supermarket in a black neighborhood because he knew it was a majority black neighborhood and then streamed his shooting as he got out of his vehicle with his firearm and began to kill people. Um, and he calls himself a racist. Okay? Flat out, he calls himself a racist. So we don't have to we don't have to dance around this one. We don't have to wonder about his wonder about his motivations. He left a was that 180 page screed behind um and we know exactly what he felt about black people that they should be killed um, and he specifically mentions the uh the bullshit of the great replacement theory um and he's concerned that uh somehow other people coming here will will displace white people i don't i don't does he does he think there's a an amount of people that America can have. And if you bring more in, you have to kick some out. Is that is that how he thinks it works? Because no one's being replaced, whether they're immigrating to America or whether they're having children here in America. No, no one's being replaced. And do you think that they're taking your jobs? Well, no, if you're concerned that your boss is hiring, you know, undocumented workers, then you should talk to your boss or report your boss because it's got nothing to do with the undocumented workers. They're just trying to make a living in an oppressive capitalist society. It's the people in charge of the company that are hiring them. And if you're concerned, for example, of your of uh, your jobs being stolen by those who, that work overseas, no, no, they're not being stolen. They're not being offshored um, because those countries are like somehow nefariously stealing your job. No, it's again, it's it's your boss. It's the company you work for. Deciding that they would rather pay somebody in Malaysia a heck of a lot more, a heck of a lot less than you, um, than pay you because in America you have some few slim endangered rights as a worker, but they're still there, and it still means that you get paid more than someone does in China. Um. So your argument and your problem is with your boss in those cases. So the Great Replacement Theory is just one big ball of bullshit. It's just pure racism, plain and simple. White nationalists hate black people. They're terrified of um, the white identity they have created disappearing, even though their white identity is pretty much just a social construct, as most things are. Um, and it's bullshit. And frankly, at this point in my life, I would be really thrilled if all the white nationalists in America were replaced by black people. That'd be really cool. Um, that would solve so many problems if America suddenly didn't have any more white nationalists. Gone. I would, I would stand up and cheer if that happened. Because white nationalists are filth. They are simple and absolute filth. Um... They're, they're terrible human beings. They have debased themselves by wallowing in an ideology of fear and terror and hatred. Um, and this guy in uh, Buffalo is an example of that. 18 years old, right out of the gate, got himself a semi-automatic firearm designed for combat, and then used it to go shoot 13 people, killing 10 of them. One, an 86-year-old person, 86-year-old woman, gunned down at a grocery store by an 18-year-old white nationalist. Yep, that happened, and we're not going to do a damn thing about it. We're not going to restrict firearms in America. We're not going to make sure that every single student, regardless of their ethnicity, learns about America's history. Right now, there are bills all across America desperately trying to make sure that students don't learn things from the black perspective. They don't want black people telling white people about what white people have done to black people. And it's that simple. And the result is Buffalo. 
if we actually gave students knowledge and let them understand that yes, this has been a country founded upon white nationalism, and it is currently a country controlled by white nationalism. Our institutions exist to support white nationalism and that we need to confront them and disassemble them and replace them with something better. So that's the kind of replacement I'm all for. Fixing the broken system so that we educate our students and we don't end up with another guy like we have in Buffalo. But also controlling firearms. There is no, absolutely no reason that anyone in America has access to a semi-automatic firearm. None. Um, they were designed for war and that's where they belong on the battlefield, not in a grocery store. So how about we do something? How about the Democrats get off their asses and actually pass some laws? That would be nice, wouldn't it? How about the GOP stop wringing their hands and saying thoughts and prayers while they pocket money from the NRA and whatever other racist groups there are out there that are shoving money into their coffers? Let's do something, America. Let's not just wait till the next one happens. 